The Census Bureau released numbers in their American Community Survey. Syracuse was named the ninth most impoverished city in the country. 25% of city residents move more than one time a year, and I think anyone, no matter your economic circumstances, can understand and relate to how disruptive that can be in your life. And when you're living in poverty, that disruption just magnifies itself. We want to reduce the number of times that people are moving. City Innovate asks cities to identify a handful of challenges that they need help solving. And so we identified a series of challenges, we then released them in an RFP. Startup companies from all over the United States and Canada responded. Veet Labs is a public blockchain company. Veet applied for the challenge at Syracuse because we believe in solving social issues so as to prove the viability and the mass adoption of uh, frontier technology. The point of Startup in Residence is that one government and one company gets to pilot a social use case. By the end of the 16-week co-design process, we will have uh, a new tech solution to deploy, and this one is specifically based on housing-related funding. People were really struggling with a challenge around security deposits. In Syracuse, landlords have 21 days to return a security deposit to a tenant. And what that means is if somebody wants to move, they're not just moving once, oftentimes they're moving twice. They're moving to a family member or friend's house and living there for about a month and then waiting for their security deposit to get returned and then moving to their house. Security deposits, that's a big problem in the community when you move. A lot of people don't get their security deposits back. To folks who don't have a lot of income, who usually have the most borrowing need. I can say that I personally have gotten calls from people who are in an emergency situation, they're going to be evicted, and they need a loan. So we've discussed lots of different potential options using Veet's blockchain technology to help bring funding to residents in need. I think what we discussed here today about this innovation and the idea of peer-to-peer -peer sharing is awesome. It's always good to have simplified ways to get help. For blockchain or other technologies to be successful in the world, we cannot just talk among ourselves in the hacker community. We have to go out and solve real world use cases that affect people's livelihoods. If we prove the model in one area, which is Syracuse, which happens to be uh, the United States number one uh, smart city to come, then we can hopefully scale out this solution to other cities and solve housing instability elsewhere. When we're addressing challenges, uh, technology is often a significant part of the solution. We think the partnership with Veet Labs in helping us address this issue is really going to help us move us along. It is our great privilege to be working with Syracuse and we intend for this project to be a success.